So I listened to your feedback and I made the add-on just a little bit better. Alright guys, how's it going? Thank you very much if you have downloaded the Blender Starter Project and a huge thank you if you actually donated. Hashtag New Monitor Fund, I really am grateful. Now there was a few comments on the YouTube channel and I thought it's always good to address this. I was wondering if it was possible to select if the save goes into a folder. Yes you can now. Craig here says, been able to select the default project location. Yes, you can now do this. Another user asked, was it possible to save in a different location as a backup or a copy? Yes, you can now do that. And I believe Dare Blender has actually made a kind of branch of the add-on, so I think you can find that on his GitHub. Now, mine's is a little bit different, to be honest, because I've made a lot of tweaks, but I'll just go over some of the basic options. Now, the one that you're going to use most of the time is a custom setup. And you can see here the interface has changed just a little bit and it hopefully makes a little bit more sense as well. So you can set up the project name, so let's call this My Project 2. You can select the location where it actually saves, and you can now add in a custom prefix. Now originally it just kind of injected the project name, and I thought ah, a lot of users might not like that, so you can now set up your custom prefix. And what you can do here is, you'll notice that you can now tick these on and off. So if you want to actually set up a prefix to a certain folder, you can now do this. Another feature is, you can now do up to 10 folders, originally it was 5, any more than 10 and I think yeah, you're kind of taking a piss a wee bit, but it's there if you need it. The save blender file is a little bit more organised as well, originally it added the version 001, you can now dictate if it does this or not. The reason I've done this is, well, you could always just type in version 001, but it's there if you need it just in case. And you can now save in the directory, and you can also add the custom prefix here to the directory as well, which is a nice feature. And all you do is hit build project, and you can see here it's set up the folders, it's added a custom prefix into what you tell it to, and it's also saved in the directory. So hopefully that kind of helps you out, mate. Now when it comes to the automatic setup, you now have two presets. Now, let me describe preset number two. That is literally a hit and go option. You just don't think about it, you just hit build project and it will set it all up for you. When it comes to the automatic preset one, it's a little bit more configurable. So what you can do here is you can actually go into the preferences, you can see here preset one, you can dictate the location, you can add in a prefix and again if you want to add the prefix to certain folders, just enable them here. Now you have enable auto and enable prefix, now you'll notice here that it actually changes. So if it's enabled, it'll tell you project location is saved in the preferences and again, enable the prefix as well. And if I take these off, it means you can save. You might want to use the same folders over and over again, but you might not necessarily want to save in the same location. And this is pretty much the reason why I made it. And again, you can save the Blender file and you can save in a directory. Nice and easy to be honest. Now, one of the new features that I've added or was requested rather, is you can now quick backup save option. Now what this does is it makes a copy to wherever you tell it to. So this is going to Dropbox and I've made a little button here. If I click on it, let's quickly go into Dropbox. So you can see here the file, my file, and it's injected the date and the time. Now, this is only a backup copy. The one that you're working on has got nothing to do with it. It's just, it kind of stores it and saves it away just in case you ever need it. And it's partly the reason why I inject the date and the time. If I was doing a version number, it might screw up a little bit, so it's always good to have the date and time as well, and you can never kind of repeat that, if that makes sense. But that's just for saving a backup, that doesn't actually save the file, it doesn't really influence anything here. It's just in case you want to have like a Dropbox folder and just kind of back things up, to be honest. And that really is the Blender Starter project. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, and you know what to do. Take care.